going on? You know who it is, you know what I do, and I'm about to present you with another factual based video that you can't say nothing about it because, like I said, it's factual based. Well, over here we don't deal with fucking fairy tales, we don't deal with fucking unicorns shitting rainbows, we don't deal with that, we deal with facts. We deal with the reality of the situation. Now, a lot of you guys have nice videos, but you're not really dealing with the reality and facts of the situation, so let's go into it. Today I'm talking about uh, some of you on YouTube seriously need to get off. Now, here's what I mean. I see on YouTube where somebody can make a video, and I, this happens to me, so it happened to myself, so I know what I'm talking about. You could happen to make a video on YouTube, and somebody takes it so personal that their only job in life is to destroy you. Now, if you're that person that takes it that far, you need to seriously get off YouTube because you got bigger issues than somebody making a video about something. Yes, we all have our passions, but it doesn't have to come to the point where it's going to shake me out of my game. Like, I can make a video, and I have made videos where people took it so personal, they're going down a route where they should not go. I had, I had this one clown, and I put the comment up, like I said. He said a few things that were out of line on me, and I know he said it. So I responded to him, don't, don't think that one day we won't cross paths. Or I said, no, what I say? I said, I said, God forbid we cross paths, I'm going to hold you to your task. Because I don't come on here to bother nobody. I come here and give you my little opinion. If you don't agree with it, make your little video, make your comment. And we disagree, we, we agree to disagree. So you, may, you may change my mind. I doubt it. I may change your mind, which happens most of the time. But... There, there's no videos out here on YouTube that can make me, that can shake me, or break me out of like, make me to the point it's that personal, unless, it's always an exception to the rule, unless, say if it's like a close family member that makes a video about me, and then it'll be like, well hold up man, we were bigger than that, we could have talked that over, but outside of that happening, I got nothing for the rest of you, you guys make your videos. I, I can't, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna shake me. I can shake you guys, and that's, that's a shame. Like one guy told me, well, here's this crybaby. This is the best argument this crybaby could give me. You, uh, play on people's emotions. Let me tell you something there, genius. Let me straighten this out. A good film, video, should have an emotional value to it. You should express your emotions. It should you should be it's something that you love to do. The fact of the matter is you can't control your emotions, and this is where having a woman bring up males is hurting our society. Because a lot of these dudes that are getting disoffended, they were raised by women. Now, I'm not saying all women do this that raise males. I'm not saying the majority of these dudes were raised by women. They weren't raised by men in the house. Because a grown man is not going to get that emotion to the point where he makes it his duty to mess with somebody like that, or he makes it to the point where you want to like go to the extremes over a YouTube video. I mean, real dudes don't do that. Only you cornballs and all this. Basically, you females and men who act like females do this. Like, it's an opinion. What can get? What can shake you that bad that it's somebody's opinion? Like, people come to me, like, I remember one time, I, this one dude, well, me and him were going back and forth. I had people do say, well, you don't know me. Well, how, uh, how you saying that? I can make a video, and I can be talking about somebody else, but it can relate to you because you've been through that single situation. So here's what a lot of you people fail to realize. And this is why I'm going international now. If you would follow my moves, you would see that. A lot of you don't understand what happens to me happens to somebody over in Moscow, which happens to somebody over in Thailand, what happens to somebody over in Johannesburg, what happens to somebody in Calcutta, well it's now called Bombay. But what you gotta understand is, we're all the same, it's just different situations. Like I, like when I, somebody said to me, you don't know me, I don't know you know, but I know people like you and then who've done that similar thing, I can pinpoint to a 95, 90 to 95 degree point of accuracy with your life. And the majority of these people, both male and female, you know what they've done? They messed up their life so bad that now they come on YouTube and they're so, they're bitter. They're like, they got problems with everybody. And especially if you're like, show any type of success in their eyes. And, and usually most of people's success means money. 
Now, me, success doesn't mean money, but that's what people tell me on YouTube. Uh, you think because you're successful because you got money? Dude, I, I still work for a living. I, this is, like I said, this is my second job. Like, pretty soon it might be my first job, but like I said, at the end of the day, I still have a nine to five. I still have a J-O. The problem is, y'all don't want to work. Y'all don't want to do nothing. And what happens, you blame the situation on everybody else with the person you should be blaming on. That person in the mirror right there. So when I'm, I'm going to tell you, do this. When you get off from reading, watching this video, reading, I don't have captions yet. When you watch this video, go, go to the bathroom or whatever. Have, get a mirror, pick it up, put it to your face, and say, I am the problem. Once you start that, you can start from ground zero and work your way up. But at the end of the day, until you don't want to, until you solve the problem with yourself, you're gonna be bitter on there all the time. Like I tell people to keep it moving. Like I'm not gonna sit here and go back and forth and Ryan, you said this, you said that, and then here's what they want to do. Then they try to get technical with you. Well, that's not what the question was asked, and I got you already. If that's the point, whenever you say that, I got you. And then from there on, you lose all sorts of credibility with me. I'm like, sit down, kid. Or they say this, that, that's not had nothing to do with the video. Do you people, here's a word I want you people to write down. And I want you to write it down, I want you to look it up in like, wiki, I want you to look it up in your dictionary. There, no, there's three words I want to give, give you. One is correlation. Again, correlation. Write it down, go look it up. Number two is compare. Compare, that's the second word. First word, correlation. Second word, compare. The third word is contrast. The third word, contrast. I want you to look up correlation. I want you to look up compare. I want you to look up contrast. Because that's what I do in all my videos. That's what I do in your videos if I decide to comment on them. If you don't understand those three little principles, you definitely should not be making no videos on YouTube. You should stick to your little, your little miserable life in Miserableville, and honestly, you need to just, you know, just write it off and come home with whatever the hell you guys do. So at the end of the day, it's like this. I worry about only one person on YouTube, myself. If you want to talk about me all day, that's good. I don't, I don't lose no sleep. I don't make no money off of it. I don't lose no money off of it. And a lot of these people got this idea, well, we keep talking about it, he'll be more famous. No, it's like this. If they got their audience, more likely they got a contract and they're locked into it. So when you talk about them or don't talk about them, they're still getting theirs. So, a lot of you need to take a break from YouTube. A lot of you are just straight fucking mental cases. And like, to the people who really can relate and understand what I'm saying, you just gotta ignore these fucking nuts. Like, if you come to me with a, a good, good argument, come with a good response, I'll listen. But a lot of you don't come with a good response because, like I said, a lot of you guys are emotional females. And like I said, the, the, the women got this women raising dudes. This is what killing us in America. A lot of you dudes want to be like your moms and be all emotional and stuff. You all you want to call me a name? Well, I'll be that, but that doesn't change. That doesn't change the situation that I told you. So I'm out of here. And as always, Mr. Warnock was in the building. Peace. That's it. That's him.